step out to this with your left foot. So for those of you who are just getting into this, the three pillars are number one, central equilibrium. And you find your central equilibrium by feeling the balls of your feet on the, on the medial line, on the big toe line of your foot. Just behind the, the big toe, there's, there's that big knobby joint. And that's, your, that's the ball. And you want to feel that as your orientation point for your feet. The weight will spread throughout the foot, but that's the, that's the bullseye. And when we access that, we activate the yin chi of the earth, allows that the yin chi of the earth to rise through the bubbling well and fill the body. Knees are unlocked, you're sinking, feeling you're releasing down feeling sung, which is a, a releasing into the structure, releasing into the supporting structure. Now reach with the crown of your head, not the top of your head, but the crown, right around the hair whorl, and tuck in your chin. As you do this, you're going to open up the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. This is where the, the spine meets the cranium, right there, the atlas. So you're opening up that and allowing for enhanced energy flow. And when you do this, you get what's called Jing Shen which is the spirit of vitality that fills the whole system, the whole body mind. We're having, doing two things at once. We're sinking into the earth and we're reaching with the crown of the head. So their body is being pulled in two different directions. So that creates a tensegrity in the system by sinking into the earth and simultaneously reaching up we're elongating the spine, opening the jade pillow gate, and you're creating a tensegrity throughout the whole, the whole body. Relax your lower back and allow your coccyx, your tailbone to drop. Again, we're moving in two directions at once. We're reaching with the crown of the head and we're Relaxing the lower back and allowing the coccyx to drop. Keeping the weight primarily over the balls of the feet. And by doing, by activate, activating your central equilibrium, you are opening to the big chi. That is the chi of the heavens comes down to the crown. The chi of earth comes up to the balls of your feet, through the crown, or through the bubbling well. And they animate the body. So you're constantly being refreshed. And you're not playing with just your own chi now. You've got, you're plugged into the big chi. Point and reach with your index fingers and just feel into that. You can wiggle them a little bit just to get the feeling of that. And this activates your energetic coherence and your amplifies that tensegrity, creates a state of wholeness or oneness throughout the whole body mind. Reach with your elbows so your arms are slightly rounded. and relax your shoulders, opening the shoulder joint. And feel into your hands and notice that your hands are tingling, pulsing. There's a sense of fullness there as the chi fills up your whole body mind. 
So this is the energetic coherence part is when you're reaching and feeling into that coherence, that tensegrity, that wholeness. Now we spiral down to the left. You're gonna release your hip joint, spiral down to the right. You're just relaxing, kind of settling into your base by relaxing your hips. And just feel into that for the moment. Feel all the activity that's occurring inside. Your body is still, but there is a lot of motion happening. You're feeling the motion and stillness. Now feel those fingertips here. Feel that your, your claws, your nails. And notice the, it feels a little different when you do that. It changes the energy. There is an excitement that occurs. And with the tensegrity of the, the whole body now, you feel that excitement, it kind of travels throughout the whole system. It activates the chi. It becomes, it, it starts to vibrate. Bow forward and reach with your elbows, reach with your wrists. I'm slowly coming up, feeling the heaviness of the arms, sung. You want to feel that relaxing into the structure, feel the weight of your arms. Open up your, your back between your shoulder blades. Reach out and, and grasp with those claws. Feel that extension that young extension. Reach to the elbows, the wrists, pull your arms in a bit, and then reach out. Feel that, reach again with your elbows, pulling in. Feel that you're, feel the claws pulling as, as you pull back. And reach out. Now, your arms go to the left and sink, feel the ball of your right foot, set your right knee and turn and reaching out so that your, your, all the weight is in your right foot and you're feeling that, that connection there. Feel the, the, the fingertips. You're pulling, you're reaching out, opening, but at the same time you're pulling back. So you've got contradictory impulses there, poles in opposition, which is generating chi flow. You're creating energy by holding these poles in opposition. Pull in, reach up with the, the elbow and ah, out again. Mm. Feel that. Reach to the crown of your head, feel that connection there. Yeah. Turn to the right reaching out and step out with your left foot, but double hip width and come back in. So now you're in a bow stance, or not a bow stance, a uh, mabo, a horse stance. You've got 
wide stance, as wide as you're comfortable with. Don't you don't have to exaggerate, but we want to get we want to get that that sense of of your you're into the you're into your legs, and you want to feel those fingers, those claws pulling in and open, reaching out and mm, pulling in again. Reaching out. And this part is abrupt, but if you do it to whatever is your comfortable to this next part, which is to <clears throat> you pull back with your elbows, boom, like that. So as if you're grabbing something and <clears throat> pulling back. And then Circle and come back to center. Feel, reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists. We're bringing it in a little more. Reach the elbows, open, pull in with the fingertips, the claws and then mm, settle out there. Let's come down. Feel the claws. Feel your body reaching even though you're not moving. There is a sense of expanding. You're filling up the room. And relax your hands and go to a neutral posture. Feel into your hands. Part two, bow, feel your elbows, feel your wrists, feel those fingers, the claws. Sit, sit into it. Feel yourself reaching with your elbows as you pull backward with the claws. Not with the shoulders, with the elbows. Elbows up. And reach out with the wrists, the fingertips. Feel the energy localized at your fingertips even though it's connected to the whole system. So we're here, we're interpreting the energy. Even though the whole system is filled up now, we're localizing or condensing it or concentrating at the, at the claws. Pull in. Reach out. Arms go to the right. Mm. On your left leg, 100%. Lightly on the toe of your right foot. You're feeling 
feeling your claws, reaching with the crown, feeling the whole system expanding. Feel, reach with your elbows and feel the space between your vertebrae, between your um, scapula. Feel them opening up. Elbows up, reach in, reach out, extend, open, claws. Reach. And you're spiraling down to the left. Step out with the right foot and You you're a big cat. Relax as much as you can while still expanding. So here we're getting contradictory information. We're telling the body to relax, but we're also telling it to get very, very active. And this is very tiger-like. Reach and pull in. And reach. And we're going to do that thing with the elbows again. We're going to do a little explosion here. <clears throat> Arms go to the right, step in. Feel the heat being generated throughout your whole body. Reach and pull in, very soft, very quiet. Arms come down. Feel the claws. Everything else gets very quiet. And relax the hands. Now bring all that movement, all that energy inside and allow that to be simultaneously without moving. So you're feeling into the potentiality of all those movements, all that energy, you're bringing it inside. And this is the, this is the path of the internal arts. You start big and you keep making it smaller, smaller, smaller. So you're bringing it more and more inside. You're learning to contain huge energies within your body mind. To be clear about that, you're, what you're, you're not containing the energies, you're containing the potentiality. By familiarizing yourself with the with what those feel like, you have the ability to recreate that potentiality. To the ball of your right foot, set your right knee, spiral down to the left and step in with the left foot. Take a deep breath, bring your arms up overhead. As you exhale, press down and disappear the chi as if you're pushing down on a big plunger. You're squeezing it out, emptying out of all that energy that you 
so diligently created and allowing for the nature tree to fill that up. You're priming the pump. And allow yourself to move into the stillness, the emptiness, the gap between thoughts. Okay, thank you.